Imagine Goa, with its beautiful beaches and lively atmosphere also hiding mysterious and spooky places. These are spots where people claim to see ghosts and hear strange sounds. From old forts to deserted mansions, these places have stories that give you goosebumps. Let's explore some of Goa's most haunted places, where history and mystery come together to create eerie experiences you won't forget. The Ghost Hotel, also known as the Sina Hotel, is another well-known haunted location in Goa. Located in Uganda, this abandoned hotel project was never completed due to legal issues and has since become the subject of numerous eerie legends and ghost stories. Local lore suggests that the spirit of the property's owner haunts the unfinished hotel. Visitors and passers-by have reported experiencing various paranormal activities such as strange noises, sudden drops in temperature, and sightings of an apparition believed to be the hotel's former owner. The incomplete and decaying structure of the ghost hotel adds to its haunting atmosphere making it a compelling destination for those intrigued by the supernatural. Its eerie reputation continues to attract thrill-seekers and paranormal investigators who hope to experience its ghostly phenomena firsthand. Seligao Village in Goa is renowned for its eerie reputation associated with a haunted banyan tree. According to local legends, this village is haunted by the spirit of a woman named Kristalina. The story goes that Kristalina's spirit is restless and has been known to interact with visitors to the village. One prominent tale involves a Portuguese man who went missing after encountering the spirit of Kristalina near the haunted banyan tree. When he reappeared, he had scratch marks and wounds that he claimed were inflicted by the spirit. This incident has contributed to the village's reputation as a place where paranormal activities occur, particularly near the banyan tree where Kristalina is said to linger. Saligao Village thus attracts both curious visitors and believers in the supernatural who wish to explore its haunted history and perhaps experience encounters with the ghostly presence of Kristalina firsthand. The Rodriguez home in Vernagoa has gained notoriety for the numerous supernatural occurrences reported by its inhabitants and visitors. Among the eerie phenomena documented at the Rodriguez home are doors and windows that open and close by themselves, lights that flicker without any apparent cause, and instances where cutlery and other objects move on their own. What sets the Rodriguez home apart is the frequency of these paranormal activities, which reportedly happen throughout the day rather than being confined to specific times. Such persistent and unexplained phenomena have intrigued paranormal enthusiasts and attracted attention to the house as a site of ongoing supernatural occurrences. The mysterious happenings at the Rodriguez home continue to fascinate and perplex those interested in the paranormal, adding to its reputation as a place where unexplained events unfold regularly. Baitakol, a road between Diwali and Bori in Goa, has gained notoriety for its association with paranormal activity. According to local legends, this stretch of road is haunted by the ghostly cries of a woman who is heard asking for help. These eerie cries have been reported by travelers and locals alike, contributing to the road's reputation as a haunted location. Interestingly, Baitakol has also been linked to numerous accidents over the years. Some believe that these accidents may be attributed to the distraction caused by the ghostly cries or to the unsettling atmosphere created by the haunting legend itself. The combination of supernatural tales and real-world incidents has made Baitakol a place of both caution and curiosity for those passing through. It continues to be a subject of interest for paranormal enthusiasts and those intrigued by the intersection of folklore and modern-day experiences on Goa's roads. NH17, the Mumbai Goa Highway, is infamous for its association with eerie tales and superstitions, particularly involving witches and paranormal occurrences. According to local legends and beliefs, this highway is rumored to be haunted by witches who are said to search for dead meat, especially after sunset. Travelers and locals have reported experiencing strange and unsettling phenomena along NH17, especially during the nighttime. It is advised in local lore not to carry non-vegetarian food on this road after sunset to avoid attracting the attention of these supernatural beings. The superstition surrounding NH17 reflects a blend of cultural beliefs and cautionary tales passed down through generations. While some dismiss these stories as folklore, others take them seriously enough to heed the advice and avoid potential encounters with the paranormal while traveling along this historic and scenic highway between Mumbai and Goa. The Char Kambe, which translates to Four Pillars, located on the old Santa Cruz Panjim Road, now Vasantrao Dempomarg, in Goa, are surrounded by eerie legends and reputed paranormal activity. These four white pillars have garnered a reputation for being cursed with various supernatural occurrences reported in their vicinity. During full moon nights, paranormal activities are said to intensify around the Char Kambe. Visitors and locals have reported sightings of apparitions and strange phenomena, adding to the mystique and fear associated with this location. 
Additionally, there are accounts of sudden breakdowns of bikes and accidents occurring near these pillars, which further fuels the belief in their cursed nature. The Charkambe have thus become a focal point for those interested in the supernatural and paranormal in Goa. The combination of local folklore, reported incidents, and the atmospheric setting on an old road contributes to their status as a haunted and mysterious location. Palacio do Deao, a two 13-year-old mansion located in Kiepem, Goa, is renowned for its colonial architecture and historical significance. However, alongside its charm, the mansion also carries a ghostly reputation. Visitors and locals alike have reported experiencing paranormal phenomena within its walls. Among the eerie occurrences reported at Palacio do Diao are unexplained whispers and footsteps heard by those exploring the mansion. These mysterious sounds contribute to the mansion's reputation as a haunted site, adding an extra layer of intrigue to its already rich history. Despite its ghostly tales, Palacio do Diao continues to attract visitors interested in its cultural heritage and architectural beauty as well as those curious about the supernatural aspects associated with this historic mansion in Goa. Palacio do Deao, a majestic 213-year-old mansion situated in Quepem, Goa, is celebrated for its colonial architecture, lush gardens, and intriguing history. It was originally built by a Portuguese nobleman and later enhanced by a prominent Goan figure, making it a cultural and historical gem in the region. However, alongside its charm and historical significance, Palacio do Deao has garnered a ghostly reputation, Many visitors and locals have reported experiencing eerie occurrences within the mansion. Among the most commonly reported phenomena are unexplained whispers and footsteps echoing through its halls. These mysterious sounds have contributed to the mansion's reputation as a haunted site. Despite its ghostly tales, Palacio do Deao remains a popular destination for tourists interested in exploring its architectural beauty, picturesque gardens, and the intriguing blend of Portuguese and Indian influences that characterize its design. For those with a penchant for the supernatural, the mansion offers an additional layer of intrigue with its reported paranormal activities, adding to the allure of this historic estate in Quepem, Goa. Arambal Sweetwater Lake, nestled amidst the scenic beauty of Arambal in Goa, has garnered attention not only for its tranquil surroundings, but also for the eerie legends that surround it. According to local folklore, this lake is believed to be bottomless, shrouded in mystery as no one has been able to determine its exact depth. Adding to its mystique, Arembal Sweetwater Lake is said to be inhabited by malevolent spirits. These spirits are rumored to dwell within the depths of the lake, contributing to its reputation as a place where supernatural forces may roam. As a result, locals and visitors alike approach the lake with caution and respect, mindful of the tales that warn of the lake's mysterious and potentially dangerous inhabitants. Despite these supernatural beliefs, Arambol Sweetwater Lake remains a serene spot amidst the bustling beaches of Arambol, attracting tourists seeking natural beauty and a sense of adventure. Its dual reputation for beauty and mystery adds an intriguing dimension to its allure, making it a captivating destination for those curious about the mystical aspects of Goan folklore. Cabo de Rama Fort, a historic site perched on a cliff overlooking the Arabian Sea in Goa, is not just known for its scenic views but also for its ghostly reputation. According to local legends and visitor accounts, the fort is rumored to be haunted by the spirits of its former residents. Visitors to Cabo de Rama Fort have reported eerie experiences such as strange sounds, inexplicable cold spots, and sightings of apparitions within the ancient walls. The presence of these spirits is said to evoke a sense of unease and fascination among those who explore the fort, adding a supernatural dimension to its historical allure. Despite its ghostly tales, Cabo de Rama Fort continues to attract tourists and history enthusiasts eager to explore its ancient ramparts, enjoy panoramic views of the Arabian Sea, and perhaps even encounter the remnants of its spectral inhabitants. The blend of history, natural beauty, and ghostly legends makes Cabo de Rama Fort a captivating destination in Goa, where the past and the paranormal intertwine. The Nosa Senora de Penha de Franca Church, situated in Penha de Franca, Goa, has earned a reputation for more than just its religious significance. According to local tales and reports from paranormal enthusiasts, the church is rumored to be haunted by supernatural phenomena. Visitors and locals have recounted experiencing strange occurrences around the church premises. These include sightings of apparitions, inexplicable sounds, and feelings of being watched or accompanied by unseen presences. Such reports have contributed to the church's reputation as a site of paranormal activity. Despite its haunted reputation, the Nosa Senora de Penha de Franca Church continues to serve as a place of worship and historical interest for visitors interested in its architectural beauty and cultural significance. 
The blend of spirituality and supernatural intrigue makes it a compelling destination for those curious about the intersection of faith and folklore in Goa. Igor Kimbond, a deserted road stretch behind the Church of Our Lady of Snows in Raya Goa, is reputed to be haunted by malevolent spirits according to local beliefs and folklore. Locals caution against walking on this road, particularly between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m., a time associated with heightened paranormal activity. According to legend, encountering demonic spirits is a risk during this hour, and the eerie atmosphere of the deserted road adds to the fear and superstition surrounding Igor Kimband. Reports of strange sounds, apparitions, and unsettling experiences have contributed to its reputation as a place to be avoided during the early morning hours. The tales of Igor Kim Band reflect Goa's rich tapestry of supernatural beliefs and cautionary folklore, blending history, spirituality, and a sense of the unknown in the fabric of local culture.